Hey YouTube, so I'm installing this uh, mini split here and we have this uh, shut off disconnect box. Um, and this um, mini split happens to be 220, 240. Um, so that's why we're gonna have to wire it in this disconnect box. Now there's other videos and then kind of go through and, and explain it um, without really doing it or they're showing it um, over a long 20, 30 minute video um so i just want to show what this looks like so here's our um wire coming in we actually have the wire i ran actually has one extra so first of all our neutrals um in this case aren't going to be needed sometimes they're needed but in this case they're not so we're just going to cap them off here's our wire that's coming in to the box from the power source okay that black which is going to be one of our hots, goes up here where it says line. And then the red from the same wire is going to be coming up here and that's going to be our other hot. So the red and black both coming from inside of the building are going up here to the line. Now, the wire that is leaving the box, which you can see goes down through this flexible conduit here. Again, neutral, capped off. And just like we have the red there, this one will be the a uh, return hot coming off. Just like we had the black one up here. Put the black one down here. Same thing. So both the hots from the wire coming in go up where it says line. Your box may be a little different. And then your load is these ones down here, which is the wire leaving the box. And then also, you see down there, I do have the grounds connected into that little uh, ground bar that they have there. But yeah, other than that, I just want to show this video. Again, neutrals aren't needed, and you can see I'll come down here. I even have this capped off. Because on this mini split, all it needs is a um, hot and a hot, and then a ground. And then these are the three mini split um, wires. So yeah, that's it for this video. Hopefully it helps you. See you later. Bye-bye.